Father, thanks for this day. Thanks for Kyle and Ariella and how you brought them together. Thanks that they're continuing to walk with you and trust by faith what you have for them. That a man should leave the care of his mother and father and cleave to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. It's a bonding on the deepest level that two people can have. It's this bond that's the best picture of the ultimate bond we can have through a personal, intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. He tells me, I met this girl, she's really awesome. Um, we met on Tinder, but if my parents asked, we met on Facebook. Um, and I was like, oh my goodness. But this one well, was different. And so this time I would call him, hey, you wanna have a conversation? I'm talk on the phone? Or oh, I'm hanging out with Ariel, so I can't talk on the phone. Who is this? We watched them grow deeply together in a friendship, which has just really blossomed beautifully into a great love for one another. Kyle and Ariella, you've individually decided to surrender your lives to Christ. It's important for us to acknowledge this decision, for it's this decision that will be the foundation that your marriage will stand on. It's very common in today's society to look at marriage as nothing more than a civil contract, easily broken. However, the Bible makes it clear that it's much more significant. It's a covenant between you as well as God. Ariella, September 4th, 2017 was one of the best days of my life. Sitting, staring over the Grand Canyon, you agreed to be my girlfriend. The night before that, I wrote a note about you. I wrote, Ariella is the most amazing, beautiful, caring, compassionate, and faithful girl I know. Every day I've talked to her since we met, she has shown me another reason why I want her to be my girlfriend. And every day since then, you have shown me another reason why I want you to be my wife. For the first year of our relationship, you constantly reminded me of your fear that I would ruin your life. If this is what that looks like, then ruining your life was the best thing I've ever done. The greatest blessing in life was receiving Jesus' sacrifice on the cross for my sins. And the second greatest blessing is standing here taking you as my wife. Kyle? It has been such a gift getting to grow alongside you, make memories, and my most treasured gift, having the privilege of loving you. I promise to place you like a seal over my heart, like a seal on my arm. Because from this day forward, you are a part of me that I will never replace or want to remove. I promise to seek you daily because love is as strong as death and it is persistent and fierce. I promise to give myself to Jesus first and follow his ways of showing you kindness, grace, and forgiveness. When the storms come and the waters try to quench our love, I promise to run to you and keep our flame alive. And as your husband, I will always strive to keep Jesus first. No matter what lengths it will take, I will strive to serve and protect you. I will continue to push you to grow just as you have helped, just as you have helped me grow. I will push myself as a man to be who God created me to be and who you deserve. I will smile with you. I will laugh with you when we're being silly. I will cry with you when you're hurt and when they take the office off of Netflix. I will strive to be patient and kind always. I know you're big on promises, so the only thing I promise you today is that I will mess up. I will fail to do the things I just said I would do, but I will always ask for your forgiveness and be reminded of the covenant we are entering. Thank you for saying yes to me on that day at the Grand Canyon, and thank you for saying yes to marrying me. I promise to never trade in our love, not even for all the wealth in the world. And when I fail you and forget to put the ice tray back in the freezer, I promise I will turn to Jesus for guidance on how to better love you. You are as permanent in my heart as a little line you tattooed on my ankle. And I know it would be a disservice to you and to our marriage if I didn't put Jesus first. I promise to make every day a new chance to fall in love with you, to seek opportunities to serve you, and I can't wait to make memories together for the rest of our life, like pasta and waffles. And the reason we take communion is to remind ourselves of the work of Jesus Christ, because this is my body, broken for you. He says, this is my blood shed for your sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, and patience, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you and crown all these things with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Now may the love and the security of the Father, the grace and the freedom of the Son, and the comfort and the power of the Spirit be with you, and abide in you now and forevermore. Amen. You've come before us and before God. You've expressed your desire to be husband and wife, and you've reminded yourselves 
that because of the sacrifice and saving work of Jesus that you have hope. Therefore, by the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the state of Arizona, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kyle, you can kiss your wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you for the very first time ever in history, Mr. and Mrs. Kyle Trader. You are the best thing.